your brand new iPhone lasted two days on a single charge. Now, dead by lunch. Apple calls it battery aging. Samsung says it's normal degradation. But here's what they don't tell you. Inside your battery right now, there's a microscopic war happening, metal crystals are forming, pathways are crumbling, and every time you plug in that charger, you're making it worse. Today, we're cracking open the most mysterious component in your pocket. And once you see what's really happening inside, you'll never charge your phone the same way again. Your phone battery is basically a reversible chemical reaction in a metal pouch. Here's the simple version. When you charge, lithium ions swim from one side to the other, like cars crossing a bridge. When you use your phone, they swim back. The positive side, lithium cobalt oxide. The negative, graphite layers. Imagine a parking garage for atoms. Every text, every scroll, every video. That's millions of lithium ions racing back and forth at 3,000 cycles per second. But here's the engineering miracle. We cram 4,000 milliamp hours of power into a space thinner than three credit cards. That's enough energy to lift a bowling ball 40 feet in the air. And get this, factories produce 4 million of these every single day, laid end to end. That's a battery bridge from New York to Los Angeles every single day. So why does this engineering marvel fail? Three killers are destroying your battery right now. Killer number one, crystal formation. Some lithium ions get lost and form tiny metal spikes. Scientists call them dendrites. Think of them as battery kidney stones, blocking the pathways. Killer number two, the breathing effect. Every charge cycle, your battery expands and contracts by 10%. After 500 cycles, the materials crack like an old rubber band. Killer number three, heat. Playing games while charging, your battery hits 110 degrees Fahrenheit. At that temperature, the electrolyte starts breaking down, like oil in an overheated engine. The result? After 500 full charges, about 18 months for most people, your battery loses 20% capacity. It's not planned obsolescence, it's physics. Now here's where it gets incredible. Making these batteries requires a class 100 clean room. That's 1,000 times cleaner than a hospital operating room. One speck of dust can cause a fire. The electrode coating? Picture spreading peanut butter on bread, except the coating must be exactly 100 microns thick. Too thin, low capacity. Too thick, the battery explodes. The separator between electrodes? It's 25 microns, thinner than human hair but strong enough to prevent short circuits at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's the mind-blowing part. Engineers test batteries by charging and discharging them 1,000 times, at 10 times normal speed. That's like aging your phone three years in just four days. But even with all this precision, there's a limit. The materials we use, lithium, cobalt, graphite, they're already pushed to 95% of their theoretical maximum. We're literally at the edge of what chemistry allows. Let's bust some myths that even tech reviewers get wrong. Charging overnight kills your battery. False. Your phone stops charging at 100%. The real killer? Keeping it at 100% for hours creates pressure inside the cells. Drain to zero before charging? Absolutely wrong. Deep discharge damages lithium batteries. It's like forcing yourself to pass out from thirst before drinking water. Fast charging destroys batteries. Half true, it, it generates heat, aging your battery 20% faster. But here's what nobody mentions. It only affects the first 50% of charging. After that, all chargers slow down. The real way to double your battery lifespan? Keep it between 20% and 80%. Avoid heat. And here's the secret engineers use. Charge to 100% only before long trips. But here's the exciting part. We're not giving up. Right now in labs across the world, engineers are building the impossible. Solid state batteries, no liquid electrolyte, no swelling, no fire risk. Samsung's prototype lasts 10,000 cycles. That's 27 years of daily charging. Silicon anodes hold 10 times more lithium than graphite. Tesla's already using them. Your next phone probably will too. Self-healing materials. Imagine a battery that fixes its own cracks. Stanford's prototype does exactly that, using polymers that reconnect like healing skin. 
Look how far we've come. Today's batteries last three times longer than 2014's. They charge five times faster, cost 90% less to make. In 10 years, your phone battery might last a week. Or maybe we won't need batteries at all. Every battery is a triumph of chemistry, engineering, and human stubbornness. We took lithium, a metal that explodes in water, and tamed it to power your entire digital life. We push materials to their absolute limits. We mass produce miracles at a rate of 4 million per day. Your dying battery isn't a failure. It's a machine that performed 500,000 perfect chemical reactions before starting to slow down. That's not planned obsolescence. That's engineering at the edge of possibility. Next time on The Making, why laptop batteries die even faster. And the surprising reason it's actually your fault. Until then, keep wondering about the everyday miracles around you.